Mr. Singh, thanks a lot for taking out time for this interview. You and your party is gearing up for the Manipur elections and this time the elections have come at a time when the country is witnessing the third wave of the pandemic and it seems that in Manipur the cover of vaccination is rather low. Perhaps this is one front in which your government has faltered and how would now political parties including BJP campaign uh, in Manipur given the fact that the cases are rising and there is always chances of more infections with more gatherings. Uh, thank you Ratnadeep uh, just for having in your channel. Wish you all the best. Uh, you see uh, the COVID uh, pandemic is you know uh, happening everywhere and the accordingly election commission of India has uh, are taking up many measures uh, to prevent from this uh, 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 spreading and uh, like vaccination and the other uh, seeking in the gathering. The report, the report given by the Registrar General of India is about 23 lakhs people eligible for vaccination. But actually in the field as per the electoral roles of uh, uh, whatever uh, having in the Manipur is around only 19 lakhs and some points say around 20 lakhs but calculating on 20 lakhs our percentage of vaccination is above 66 percent not the 57 so that that was the mistakes which uh, uh, wrongly recorded by the Registrar General of India. I already clarified it. So, so uh, our vaccination rate is good enough. Recently, Honorable Prime Minister has launched around 1,336 Wi-Fi channels uh, in the entire state. So, it will have lots. And uh, today, uh, even day before yesterday also, I tried through digital you know uh, campaigning through virtual and uh, through uh, uh, other means so i think there will not be uh, a huge problem uh, big problems mr singh what are the key agendas for the bjp as the party gears up to seek the mandate of the people of manipur this time you know you know just in the last 15 20 years the nation has seen the people have seen that Manipur state, what kind of life we were living. We are totally unrest. Everyone could not have a life. Even the woman folk cannot roam during the night. Even, even, even you know, uh, just uh, uh, shop or close. Uh, just at, if 5 p.m. comes, every shop will be closed, burned, blockade, unrest killing, fight encounter, these all are the problems. But in the five, last five years, we have achieved peace. So in the next agenda, our, our uh, target will be, our mission will be to maintain and uh, to continue this type of peace in future and as well as development. We will, we are going to have village-wise development schemes. Then one is, you know, we need, we are having 36, uh, 34, 35 tribes, community here in the small state. So cohesive relationship between the community is very important. So I will focus in don this three. The PJP is going to focus on these three, peace, development, and the cohesive, uh, you know, relationship and uh, uh, cooperation between the communities. Mr. Singh, you are talking about peace and when we talk about peace, perhaps the biggest question is that in Manipur, Armed Forces Special Power Act has been once again imposed. Now there has been opposition to this act in Manipur across Northeast. What is going to be your party's take given the fact that your main opposition Congress has already made it a poll issue? Now you see, uh, Aswa is a concern of the Norris, particularly for Manipur also. The Aswa was lifted uh, from the uh, seventh segment of the Imphal Municipal Council uh, in the last, uh, you know, uh, 
regime, by the last regime. But they are not able to live from the entire state, they even from the greater Imphal. Because they also know the ground reality. For me also, for the BJP-led government also here, we are facing uh, some problems. I myself is against the this law of this egg. But uh, on the other hand, as a responsible person, at the head of the state, I have to see the nation's security, national security also. After the taunting action then, Nagaland government has lifted the uh, APSPA, but center has reimposed. Then what is the use? So what I am trying, I am trying to, uh, you know, to bring a conducive atmosphere in the state. Conducive atmosphere, law and order, and uh, seeing the prevailing uh, situation in the neighboring country, we have to see also. But with the coming of the election knocking at the door, many vested interested group, politically instigated or something, is happening. Yes, one colonel were killed along his family. Very shocking news. And the recently also, you know, in the, even in the uh, Lilong, one Assam rifle person were martyred, one injured. And uh, two, three areas, granite was hurled and exploded. So we have to see the ground reality. We should not go on emotion. We should not go because you know national security is first. BCP has given the most, you know, long due demand of the people of the state, long due desire of the state is inner line permit. Mr. Chief Minister, my last question to you is that in 2017, when BJP was able to form the government in Manipur, it was in a way by cobbling up numbers in a rather controversial way. Now, this time around, uh, what is going to be the BJP's ploy? Are you looking forward to form a government of your own, given the fact that there have been uh, you know, rumblings about leadership within your party as well and within the government, there was a situation where you had to uh, face a flow test and also the big question is whether the party is going to project you as the chief ministerial face. Uh, what are you hearing from the party high command? <laughs> you know, I want to counter the first question uh, because there were uh, there was no any uh, misconduct or you know uh, anything wrong in forming the BJP led government. That was done through proper democratic norms and a system. And again, uh, as per your question, this time uh, BJP is uh, expecting to form a government of only for the BJP. BJP, our BJP will get absolute majority. Our BJP, uh, our BJP will get 40 plus. We are expecting. We are expecting 40 plus. And uh, the question of pre-poll alliance, I think we are not uh, considering of pre-poll alliance as of today. And uh, let us see what the central leaders take. You see, last time coalition government form and uh, somehow we managed to uh, pass the five years peacefully yeah there was some here and there controversial push and pull uh, that is happening everywhere in politics but we have passed through it and uh, just for the ministerial candidate you see bjp is a, a big national party and uh, well disciplined party well organized party uh, that that decision will be taken by the central leaders and the whatever the central leaders thus everyone has to avoid including me thank you Ranajib. thank you very much see you again